My name is Mary Archer. I'm chairman of Cambridge University Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust. My own background is as an academic. Um, I taught in the university for some years, taught chemistry, um, and quit full-time teaching in the mid-80s and took up a portfolio career which involved some business and some public service. I became chairman of a body called the National Energy Foundation. I was recruited onto the board of my trust by the then chairman in 1993, and I'm very glad they appointed me um, because it's probably the most worthwhile thing I've ever done. I always wanted to be a, a scientist. Um, my father tells me that uh, when I was seven or eight, he discovered me in the back garden tying an earthworm into a knot. And he scolded me, because very unkind to the earthworm, said, why was I doing that? And I said, well, I wanted to see if it could untie itself. And I think that was the scientific tendency in me coming out. I have to say, it couldn't untie itself. That was the end of that earthworm. At my little preparatory school, there was a room at the top of the house. It was a lovely old house that these two indomitable Scottish ladies who became joint headmistresses after the war um, bought. And at the top of the house in the attic, they had a jumble thing called the discovery room. And it had everything in it. It had, um, it had a gold leaf electroscope and it had great crystals of sulfur and it had fossilized animals. And um, you were just allowed to go up there and discover things in those days that I don't think health and safety had quite got onto the scene. And I was absolutely fascinated. I loved going up there and poking around. And then when I went to secondary school um, and discovered there was a subject called chemistry, that was it. Did chemistry at A-level, did chemistry at university, did my PhD. Um, and and, and I, I, I really thought I would never divert from it. I, in a sense, I don't feel I've left it. Um, although I wouldn't like to sit my finals again. <laughs> my father um, uh, was a chartered accountant. I didn't go to university. Um, he was a real intellectual, though, um, and he was the greatest influence on my young life. And he sent both my sister and myself away to boarding school, greatly against the wishes of my mother, put sort of steel into our backbone, I suppose. So he was a very formative influence, and I suppose it was the greatest tragedy of my life that he died of lung cancer when I was 27. Cancer treatments were not as kind as they are now, so it was very, very hard. Um, but when my father was very ill, one of the things he said to me is, you know, you're well established now, it's time to have a family. Uh, but he died before I could achieve that. But anyway, I had my son the following summer. I mean, going to university is the great life-transforming experience, I think, or it was for me at any rate. Um, and after a rather strict boarding school, I found the freedom of Oxford quite puzzling at first. I mean, a silly thing. I couldn't get used to the fact I was allowed to post my own letters. You used to have your letters vetted at boarding school. Um, went on, did my PhD, did two postdocs, got my fellowship at Cambridge, and I thought that was it for life. I was put on committees and things, and rather than running a mile as most academics do, I found I actually quite enjoyed administration and, you know, sort of making things happen. 